This year, one of our favourite local songwriters, Melody Poole, has released two incredible songs called Fantasy Girl and Changing from her forthcoming album. It was a bit of a mashup, actually, of like two different songs. When I first wrote it, I wrote this song and sometimes that happens where I'll write a couple of songs and then I'll leave them for a long time and then realise that they... Uh, actually, I can just cut all the stuff I don't like out of both of them and they're supposed to be one song. And so that's kind of how Changing came about. I'd had the verses in another song. I'd had part of the chorus in another song, but I hadn't got the for Changing part yet. Like, I went through a lot of changes and I was trying to find a way to, like, in my mind, reconcile how to make the dark and hard changes worth going through. Um, and so that's kind of like what the song's about and, and where it came from. Since Changing came out, I've been listening to, you know, all the generations or eras of, <laughs> of melody. I should say eras, not generations. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> um, but like there's such massive leaps in between, even just from the Lost in Time EP to these oh, yeah. two current singles. What, what do you think it is about, you know, the sound and everything that's contributed to that? There's a few things, I think, like definitely Chris's production, because he knows me so well. It's really in line with how I hear songs in my head. And so he knows my influences and he knows when I sound the best when I'm singing around the house and how my voice sounds the best. So trying to capture that and him prioritising capturing me like that really has influenced the sound. You know, in terms of Lost in Time, the new songs are, are quite produced the way that my old records are produced, even though the sound is very different. But it's almost like Lost in Time is like the little bridge between them. It kind of bridges the gap of maturity and sound between... Like, I feel like if maybe these songs came out straight after Deep Dark Savage Heart, it would be a bit like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> Melody is about to kick off an international tour to celebrate her new music with a show at the Junkyard in Maitland this Wednesday night. Well, after the Junkyard, I'm going to Germany and the UK for one show in London. Um, and I think I've got now 11 shows in Germany or something, which I'm so stoked about. It's been 10 years since I've been overseas to Europe and I had such beautiful shows and audiences there 10 years ago so I'm so stoked to go back and I've got a couple of festivals there as well that I'm doing and mainly in like little regional German towns like I'm not doing Hamburg or Frankfurt or Munich I'm doing mainly like these regional towns and, and these little festivals in regional areas so I think it'll be really really beautiful um, Are they the spots you visited before? No not at all and I'm driving this time it's on the other side of the road and I'm a bit like <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping the muscle memory from driving in America nine years ago kicks in yeah. and I <laughs> freak out too much. I know it's there for changing, for changing, tomorrow's for changing.